嘿嘿，大家好，我是桑达。Today we're packing our bags and going to Split, then to a national park, and then lastly to Zagreb before we're going home. I'm gonna show you the best meal I've had in Croatia so far, and talk about where I probably won't eat again. So pack your bags, subscribe to my channel, and let's get going. We sat in the car basically the entire day. Firstly, we took the cab to the airport, then we rented a car and then drove all the way up to Split from Dubrovnik. And then in the afternoon, we finally arrived. The first thing we did was drop off our bags at the hotel and then we changed to swimsuits and then we were right out the door. It was super hot outside, but it was the perfect weather to go swimming. We found this nice bed of rocks where you could jump in the water and then climb up. It was really nice there and there were a bunch of people there already. Now we're finally in Split, so we drove from all the way from Dubrovnik up to Split. We've been driving almost the whole day. When we came here, we got in the water and now I'm in the hotel room, getting dressed and getting ready for dinner and we're gonna watch the sunset tonight, so it's gonna be really nice. In the evening, we walked around the pier to find some things to eat and then we stumbled upon this small restaurant that had a really good seafood platter. It's probably the best meal we've had in here in Croatia so far. It was really nice, the seafood was perfectly cooked and it had a beautiful view over the pier. And then when we were on our way home, uh, we found this concerty thing around where we live. So Jill and I, we went there to talk and to listen to some creation music. Thank you. 
then we had a very early morning drive to the national park. We started off our adventure here with some lunch. It was pretty decent, nothing special, but it was pretty good. then we did some walking and then some more walking and then even more walking we did so much walking or too slow walking so we missed the last boat back to the hotel so we had to rest a bit then we looked at the map and we figured out that we might have to hurry back up to the bus which is like up the steep hill because otherwise we would have to walk all the way back to the hotel and that's way too far <laughs> So we basically ran all the way up the hill to make it in time for the last bus, and we made it. By the time we got back we were way too exhausted and had some dinner at the hotel. It was pretty decent until I got back to the hotel room and it wasn't too decent anymore. So I got some food poisoning from the dinner but not lunch at the same place. You can do with that information as you wish, I probably won't go back there to eat again. Before I completely woke up, we were back on the road going to Zagreb and honestly I was pretty mentally out of it because I wasn't feeling too well. But we went to the supermarkets and got some snacks to bring back home and then we went sightseeing around the city. Good morning! Today I woke up early because Sherry and Nathan they had to leave because they're five. That's at like eight, so they were out <laughs> five. And then I went back to bed, woke up at eight. <laughs> and now I am waiting for my Uber to get here, and then I'm going to the airport. And then I'm flying to Vienna and then I'm staying in Vienna for like one or two hours. Then I'm finally going home to Copenhagen. Then I'm taking the train back to Sweden and then I'm getting picked up by my parents. Very good. Now I'm in the airport. The Uber ride, it was my first time, but it was really good. Probably gonna do it again because I pre-booked it and then I just walked out when my time was good yeah so now i'm at the uh, Zagreb airport so apparently it's very small so it doesn't have any terminals so it was quick checking in no i just picked up some food to eat or breakfast to eat because um, breakfast wasn't included in my hotel I didn't really, I can't really eat that much, so I got a fruit cup and some water. When opening the oven compartment, to ensure nothing. Now I'm home, I just arrived at the Copenhagen airport, trying to find a bathroom, then I'm gonna pick up my bag 
and take the train back to Sweden. Now that I'm finally home, this trip has come to an end. That's all I had for you today. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know the next time I post a video. Please like and always comment if you have any suggestions for future videos. Hey Doa, and I'll see you in the next one.